Ahoy, ahoy! Another great morning in Sumba. Today we're heading to Wekuri Lagoon, which is about 40, 40 or 50 kilometers from our hotel or the Tambalaka airport. We're right next to the airport behind this hotel. And yeah, gonna be a long day again. But excited! This is the number one tourist destination on the whole of island. typical houses in Sumba. They use this hay roof. They're on this side as well. Hello! They're coming to see us. <laughs> so yeah, we've been driving for, I don't know, 30 minutes into the bush already towards the lagoon. And no lagoon in sight, but a lot of locals living here in the jungle, of pigs running around wild, a lot of dogs, and even churches. So hopefully we'll get there soon. Car is going strong, zero kilometers an hour. All right, the ocean. I don't know if you can see, but let's keep driving. We are about two k's away now. Wow! We're already seeing the ocean, but this road is full on off road. I think it's time to put the camera down when we're going down this place. I don't know if we're going straight or to the left. Probably straight that way. Yeah. Straight down the hill. Finally made it to the beach, so. Local boys are asking 50,000 to drive into this parking area. But this one is actually not the lagoon that we're looking for. This is a beach right next to the lagoon. And when I say right next, it's about 500 meters. So I think once we're done here, we need to drive out and find another way to the lagoon. But this is it. Light blue oceans. Probably can swim down there as well. This is some of the bluest water I've seen. And I'm not even filming with a GoPro, I'm filming with the main camera. And it's still so blue. beach area. I'm gonna dip in for a sec. Looks like there's a lot of fishing boats here as well that go out. Fishing in general on this island I think makes up of like 99% of all the food they eat because not only can you not find any barongs while you're driving along, you cannot find any chicken or any other meat besides fish. Boom. Here it comes! Okay, Waikuri Lagoon. Looks like this is a more touristy attraction here. I can see a lot of, a lot of uh, ikat, which is the traditional weaving method behind me. As well as some food places. 
and asphalt roads but four or five tourist cars Kalapa everywhere I thought this would be a more wild experience but it is what it is, let's go check it out So the jumping platform here. So there's these little boats in the water that you can rent. And we decided to get one. It's 20,000 per person. So next time you see us, it will be on the boat and filmed with the GoPro. So let's, let's go get some swim on. There's a boat coming in, coming in hot. This is a much better way to film going to the middle of the lagoon. Let's see underwater as well. We got the we got the extreme level boat, the premium executive boat. That's the poverty boat over there. So currently it's 11 meters deep here. Let's go for a swim. Dia gigit kasih ancur baru taruh kapur. Takal baju. Yukap. Coba bapa juga. Ah, iya iya. Alright, let's see how to do this bad boy. The local drug, the Sumbanese drug. Ya, ini Sumba. Tambah sini. Ya. Lihat. Makan sirih pinang sama kapurnya itu apa? kapur 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 kapurnya kapurnya like bitter so I tried the local drug supposed to be as strong as cocaine as strong as heroin, as strong as marijuana. None of it is true. All it did was make my mouth a little bit numb and my ear cannot hear as good. But that might be from the water that we jumped into. But yeah, interesting that they like chewing it. I guess you can get addicted to anything if you do it long enough. But 
this is the Wee Kuri Lagoon. Final thoughts on this place. Super nice place, could be less touristy. And food choices could be better instead of just me or noodles. But this is a reoccurring theme in Zumba. Finding proper food or even just I am. But it is what it is. It's not the food that we came here for. It's the adventure. Look at this car. Just look at it. It goes through anything. One liter of pure petrol engine. Absolute beast. Doors open and everything. Let's go. Just on our way to this um, traditional village and we stopped next to some sort of homestay. At least that's what the sign says. I don't know where the sign is. We saw a sign somewhere. Ah, here. Let's see what it's called. Homestay, homesick. This one is huge. Look at this thing. And I might be wrong. <laughs> I might be wrong, but when I was reading, when I was reading about these, these tombstones is the top slabs at least are put on put on there by hand so you can imagine how many people it takes. This person Hermanus Rangahoro 1903 until 1985. But, uh, and there's some local traditional houses. You can see the roofs really well. And there's some people Everyone's excited. Even the dog is excited. <laughs> so apparently the tombstone I was filming in the previous place belonged to the king of Sumba. The more you know. For Bules it was 40,000 to get in. Domestic 20,000. So if you can see the... I'm all pointing with the middle finger again. If you can see the statues on top. Those as well as some of these tombs have like signs on the side. They represent how powerful the person was. So this one apparently was a soldier of some kind. Ah, you can see the... You can see the... What is it? The bull with the horns on top of the tomb as well. The goats. Goats have the weirdest eyes. It's like they're too far apart. Look at this one. Friends. <laughs> so this part of Sumba is actually famous for the people living here carrying these little swords on their waistline. And when you're driving around the place you can see like at least half the guys have this sword. So let's see if we can ask him to show. Minta bola liat itu. Yeah. This is the type of sword they have. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Beli? Berapa itu? One million. <laughs> One million. Mahal. <laughs> like technologies here as well. They have solar panels on top of this ancient roof technique. So imagine living here, building your whole village. There's like 20 of these houses here. And then you wake up in the morning and you see this. Nice. Look at this beach.
car manufacturers to bring their cars to Zumba if they want to test their suspension. Because this is the road 